What did the weird kid in your school do that you'll never forget? I'm from a small town. There was this weird kid who was a year older, but he was so weird that even the younger kids would pick on him. I didn't really know him, but I put him in the weird but harmless category. He graduates, and then decides to rob the local taco time with a shotgun. Well, it is a small town. The kids working at the taco time all know him, and pretty much everybody in the taco time also knows him. He got two years. 7th grade, guy didn't have a pen slash pencil for the test and the teacher wouldn't give him one, you need to be prepared, blah. Yeah, the dude took out a paper clip, straightened it out, stabbed himself, and started doing the test using his blood as ink. He was quickly sent to the nurse's office. This girl decided she wanted to be pregnant. She proceeded to ask probably half the people in our high school if they would impregnate her, and then when that didn't work she brought a Ziploc bag and asked for guys to jizz in it. Everyone called her sperm bank after that, and I honestly can't remember her real name. The weird kid in our school was part of our friend group so 15 plus years later we still give him shit about it. During assembly one afternoon, a few weeks from ball or prom. He went up on stage while our entire year was filing into the auditorium and taking our seats. He was part of the AV club, surprise, so his responsibility was making sure the microphones worked so nobody questioned why he was up there tinkering with the mic. Anyway, 90% of our year has come in at this point when he starts singing Jumper by Third Eye Blind over a karaoke version of the song he found on LimeWire and he's changed the My Friend part of the chorus to the name of the girl he wants to ask out to prom. He gets about halfway through the song before one of the teachers realizes it isn't a joke and gets up on stage to drag him out. Everyone is just sitting there going WTF half the kids don't know the song and the other half is wondering why he chose it to ask someone out. Turns out the girl he was asking wasn't even in the auditorium yet so didn't hear his little number. He got detention for a week for being disruptive but since then we just call him Jumper as a joke but then it stuck and I don't think anyone in our friend group has used his name since then. Even during his wedding you could tell who he went to school with since they'd ask where Jumper or Big J was. Ended up in a mental institution because his parents bought him a new mattress and while removing the old one they found multiple mason jars full of blood, no exaggeration 2 gallons total. There was a police investigation and turn out it was all his blood, his only answer as to why was just in case. We were getting DNA samples in biology. Most of the class used spit but he tried to squeeze milk out of his nipples. Milk. After that didn't work out he attempted to get pimple fluid from his pimple. When the teacher noticed and questioned he answered I got some out just this morning. This was when we were 14 to 15. A few days before a pep assembly, anonymously posted signs all over a school that said the cock is coming. Teachers and school administrators were obviously concerned but clueless smuggled a live rooster into the assembly and partway through the opening speech at the assembly, whipped it out over his head as it went apeshit. Entire gym full of kids stood up and started chanting cock. 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 Was not seen at school for a few days after that. Humped my desk for a solid minute while maintaining eye contact with me, and then said, thanks and just walked away. I'm a guy, this was 15 years ago, on my first day at this new school. And I was just eating lunch at my desk, and this dude just walked up and went to town. No context, no introduction, nothing. Didn't even buy me dinner first. Just wham, bam, thank you desk. So, there was a guy at our school when I was a freshman that everyone called Wolfman who was weird in all the bad ways. He claimed to have superpowers, teleportation, DBZ like energy creation and whatnot. All the girls said he would he'd just stare at them if they had class with him. He hung around as freshmen and did his best to flirt with the girls. For an example of his flirting he once told a girl that while astral projecting, he saw her face on Jupiter. Needless to say, girls stayed away from him. He graduated though, and his brother started at the school. Now, Wolfman wasn't a tall guy by any stretch of the imagination, maybe 5 feet at most, but his brother was a good foot shorter than him. He looked like he belonged in third grade. He never got any taller. It didn't help that he always wore a child's goosebumps jacket, that made people start calling him goosebumps. He was even more convinced of his powers than his brother, but at least he was less sexually creepy, but that's all he had going for him. One memorable day I was in math class, and he started shaking violently, people ignored him, 
so he started flapping his arms around. Wondering if this was an actual seizure the girl next to him put her hand on him and asked if he's okay, he growled back take your hand off me, this power is too much to contain. She started yelling at him for faking a seizure and he went back to normal death stare forward grumbling about his powers. Dressed like the Queen of England, Elizabeth II, hair, shoes, and everything, from elementary to middle, then dressed like a doll for a year, tried to hook up with everyone, got kicked off stage at a talent show for doing a burlesque routine, would work her sexual prowess into every oral report, and her last year she came to school two times in just a mini skirt and bra. I didn't know her personally at all but, I've kind of suspected she might have been sexually abused or something. There was this really mentally ducked up kid I could probably write a book about. He went through a phase where he was obsessed with JFK printed out pictures of him and taped them to everything, his binder, truck, locker, etc. I don't know what happened but later that year all those pictures changed to pictures of Hitler. He referred to this as the time that the devil overtook him with evil. He did this same shit with William Shatner and a teacher at our school, but the bizarre satanic Hitler obsession takes the cake. He was also banned from the computers because the library lady caught him jerking it to adult movies. Weird Kid, Dan, was obsessed with cute girl, Casey, for several years. She rejected him for several years. On the bus to a field trip I sat next to him and he was drawing. I glanced over and he was drawing Casey falling off a cliff onto a patch of spikes below. Years later in middle school he also got super mad and threw a desk across the room in English. Not a small desk either. One of those that's a desk slash chair attached hybrid. Just ducking yeeted it across the room. Was ducking terrified. There's a litany of things he did, but those stand out to me. I remember once in high school we were on a school camp which included some low-level spelunking. About 60 of us had to squeeze single file on our hands and knees through a narrow part of the cave which was about 100 meters long. There was a small section about halfway along which opened up a bit to allow two people to sit shoulder to shoulder. Anyway, weird kid got to this section and decided he really needed to poop. Not sure what he had been eating, but it was a runny one. He was at the front of the column so we all had the pleasure of crawling through the mess he made, because we'd come too far to turn back. Combine that with poor lighting and poor ventilation and we had a real mess on our hands. One girl in my grade, at high school so four years from age 12 through 16, cut herself to fill a vial with her own blood and wore it around her neck. Also wore cat ears and a tail to school and would chase people around meowing and hissing and trying to scratch them. She was ducking fast too, especially when she'd climb upstairs on all fours. In hindsight, maybe some psychological issues at play. But she wasn't ever part of the special needs classes, just a regular student like the rest of us I guess. This is going to sound ridiculous but during my senior year of high school someone took a huge, and I mean inhumanly huge, shit in one of the girls bathroom toilets that was far too big to be flushed away. Some kid mentioned seeing it and in no time somehow the entire school was made aware and gathered around the bathroom trying to get a look at this monstrosity. Picture 50 plus high school kids skipping classes just to try to squeeze into a small women's room to stare in awe at an infamous shit. The crowd got so big and unruly that the administration finally caught on and banned people from that particular hallway for the rest of the day under threat of suspension. I like to believe that all of us were that weird kid on that day. His desk was in front of mine in Japanese class. He would pop his back acne and eat the puss when he was bored. It was absolutely horrendous and people were pretty mean to him. But in hindsight his mom used to drop him off and handles of vodka and or beer cans would fall out of the car when he got out. He was probably just going through it but in a strange way. He stabbed someone at a bus stop freshman year of high school. I don't think it was as intense as the rumors about it were, but he definitely had a knife and pulled it. He got expelled and sent to a high school for kids with behavioral slash mental health issues. Senior year rolls around and he gets sent back to our high school. On the first day of school he shows up. In a t-shirt. That says Stabby is back. Legendary. There was one who was a senior when I was a freshman. We were friends ish and Jim. One day in the locker room, he told me that he did ketamine while drunk the night before, and his friends shoved a peanut butter jar in his ass. However, he couldn't get it out. You could see the flat part of the lid under his boxers. I have no clue how he managed to make it through a school day like that. After school, he melted butter and poured it into his ass, 
then squeezed out a massive shit, pulling the jar out in the process. Definitely thought twice before talking to him again, but we were a killer handball team. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.